go. Yeah. So first story. It's a sad one, oh, bro. We, yeah. You know, yeah, I was starting thing. with some sad news first up. And uh, do you do do we should we go down this path also? That's another thing because the way uh you know Twitter is ooh, yeah. scary place up there. Because <laughs> I got some really I got some really dark jokes about this, but I, I'm afraid. now I'm now I'm curious. You you <laughs> yeah. so let's go for it. Actor, filmmaker Shauna Ferguson passes away. Um he was forty seven years old. He was of course he, he's He's the husband, or late husband now of uh, what's her name, Connie Ferguson. Yes, man. yes. This virus don't discriminate, bro. Shit. Yeah, but is it the virus or was it a heart attack? Because initially it came out as oh, it's a heart attack, and um, it's quite interesting that I mean, if it was a heart attack, or even if it was COVID, because I used to see this dude gym at my gym down the road. And oh, wow, really. Yeah, dude. So it looks just looks like you know ex- exercise doesn't really help, guys. It doesn't. You know? That's why Uber Eats delivers my smoothies. <laughs> I live longer. That's why there's no Sri Lankans. <laughs> Sri Lankans at the Olympics, bro. Uh, that's interesting. Uh, you know, I kind of agree with that because as cavemen, we didn't go to like gym. You know, we were we we used to like you know hunt and gather, but we weren't like benching 100 kilograms as so it's not like all healthy this gym lifestyle yeah you're right we weren't doing abnormally sh- abnormal shit you know mm. like we're trying to fight against gods in the sky you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah bro so as well yeah it's interesting trying to get uh, to mount mount olympus <laughs> and fucking fight zeus and all that bullshit <laughs> yeah true now yeah um so I never, I haven't heard about the heart attack rumors. Why would they lie about the cause of death? I don't know, dude. They've been doing that with COVID, bro. You get, I mean, you get hit by a car and they're like, just, just say it's COVID. You get murdered, they're like, just say it's COVID. Mm. But then, so how do we explain the bullet? Yeah, even though, you know, they must sanitize the bullets and then you can prevent, you know, it's so stupid. Everything, <laughs> but you just die. From some random disease, and they declare it COVID, bro. Why? Even if you're sick, you know you have a rash. Ah, it's COVID, bro. It's I don't know. It's like a numbers game. Just like let's keep the numbers up so we can keep the people sitting at home ordering from Uber Eats. <laughs> Trying to make us more fearful of what's going on, which is very unnecessary because I think we're scared enough. Um, yeah, oh is... no, dude! The media, the the unseen forces, they all they all use fear tactics, bro. Mm. Okay. I mean terrorism was a fear tactic. You know? okay. There's some hectic conspiracies, man, but uh Yeah, man. Ish. It's quite sad news though, Shame. He, he seemed yeah, like but a look good I mean, on the uh, Yeah, it's no, it's definitely sad news, bro. It's definitely what I also found out is he was actually from Botswana, bro. I thought he was mm. South African. I didn't know he was a Mutswana from Botswana. Yeah, he's bots. So, but then again, bots. it's just borders. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah, Af- a, a Lenora. He's <laughs> a Lenora. <laughs> we, are, we are all African, boy. We are all African. Uh, yeah, and uh, look, I mean, on, on the on the lighter side on this also is that we don't have to watch those Makaka movies that he made. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, bruh. I was thinking of going to these uh, people and asking them to, to make our show, bruh. But yeah, maybe now it's too soon. Apparently, no, dude. I, I heard I heard through employees and people who worked with them that... They don't pay. Um, they don't pay, bruh. And That's... you see, I mean, people you people can, and can you know, hear on me for making these dark jokes about it and say I'm insensitive and shit like that. But I'm also going to talk about the truth here, bruh. Like, it wasn't always such a good oak. You know, mm-hmm. they weren't good people, the, the Fergusons, to, to a lot of artists in the industry, actors, directors. So, yeah, yeah. Um, at least they'll, they'll have my back and they'll agree with me for the ones who went through the shit. Yeah, broke artists will support you. <laughs> yeah, bro, with, without their money. Ah, you know? <laughs> uh, that's funny. <laughs> it's yeah. interesting, dude, when... Uh, when you're poverty stricken and you don't like living in hard times, the only thing you have is your voice, eh? Oh. Mm. That is interesting. It's 
because you can't really. Mm. It just depends mm. what you do with that voice. Yeah, sorry, you were about to say? No, nah, yeah, I remember seeing in the news that uh, whole debacle of them not paying their, their workers and artists. So, and just, dude, that's a crime in itself, bro. Not paying an artist, bro, because, you know, an artist is really not boiling or is really not like have a long term plan in terms of finances and security, bro. So, that's proper theft if you don't pay your artists. Yeah, I know, dude. I know. And like judging and by the, their remember, videos, uh, they live like in a mansion or some shit, bro. So, hectic. Yeah, exactly. You no, know, dude, mm. this guy had like all his, I mean, all the, you could see all his vehicles in all the movies. Mm. So, all of his movies and series, the vehicles that were on there were owned by him and the wife or whatever. They weren't yeah. like hired or whatever. And I won't lie, I haven't watched, he walked straight up. I, I haven't watched one of their things, bro, because. Yeah, because yeah, I tried, I tried, but you, I just I, you said you watched Kings of Josie, didn't yeah, you? Maybe I have a higher standard. I'm <laughs> no, dude, I couldn't, I couldn't. Oh, I told you, tried. You, dude. you tried, yeah, and like uh, I tried, I tried, you know, so mm. and yeah, if people consider him a good actor, then that's on them, you yeah? know. I mean, Fair enough. I told you I have a high standard. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry for having a high standard, guys. You know? I like what I like. I like what I like. Yeah, bro. I mean, I don't understand this thing in South Africa. Like, you have to support a local artist just because he's local. If you don't like it and you don't enjoy the art, I mean, be free. I mean, that's what that's freedom of so true. expression and freedom of, you know, that's. Why do we have to support something just because it's got some patriotic thing? Like we we are against colonial concepts, but us supporting a, a local artist because they're South African is a colonial concept because South Africa is a colonial concept. So yeah. I, I, you can't be woke and still be industry driven, you know? Yeah. No, it's true, bro. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I get what you're saying, bro. Th and the media or when they do make a film, they do rely on our patriotism to like you know when they make a movie and like now yeah. you just go support south african local what what and you go watch it and you just wasted 90 minutes and like 200 rand of your monies on some macaca bro yo i don't want to mention yeah dude, the sound quality no this i also don't want to mention movies and series but the sound quality is bad the writing yeah. is horrible oh yeah it's just why not rather be critical and honest so it can get better then better like, yeah exactly oh, you need yeah. you, you need people like us <laughs> you know it's like that's we are a necessary you, evil boys come on we're guys we're 20 mm. montanas bruh yeah, so you can point at them and say that's the bad guy that's the bad guy you know <laughs> yeah no that's an that's that's true bro and i'll stand by that i've been hurt bro i've been hurt a lot bro going to the movies yeah supporting these things and then you're like yo 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 that's the thing is also i think gavin white hurts us the most is because we know we were we're actually in the industry and we know how much like how many creative minds are out there that aren't being given these platforms sure. like you know very smart smart and talented people in the industry that don't actually get the opportunity because of i'm gonna say gatekeeping in a way hmm. you know so. yeah we know the talent we know what's out there uh, also we, mm. we're trying to make shit for ourselves as well um, yeah we i mean it's like the, I, I don't know i heard was it royster 59 or most deaf most deaf uh, now called yasin bay was like if you love an art form so much you create you contribute to that art form hmm. you know that so like for example he was talking about musicians like uh, if you really love music that much you would have tried making music one day you know because you yeah. love the art form so much yeah then you know so yeah i also don't want we should never just get into a position where we just criticize and criticize and then we don't make um yeah things ourselves. exactly um so yeah it's just yeah the, i think the main thing is this patriotic support South african no bro support good good content good good production good content good movies, yeah. what support. what appeals to you what you enjoy you know mm. don't just and if it's cock it's cock you know what i'm saying yeah, exactly mm. also we should also be mm. open to criticism bruh 
Yeah. Like, why, why are we all just sensitive now? We can't be open to criticism anymore. Is it what, what, what the world, and I don't want to say the world's gone soft because maybe the world's gone more emotionally weird, which is a good thing. Mm. But, you know, also criticism is, it's part of growth. It is, bro. Mm-hmm. It is, man. It is. Um, yeah, I think we can, we can close on that one. No, <laughs> not many jokes here, but, you know, we can close on that. Yeah, I do have another mm-hmm. dark one. I don't know if you want to hear it. Give me, um, give, me, uh, give me what you got. Yeah, like I was saying, I mean, as much as this is sad news, on the plus side, this uh, Connie's single now. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, that would be hectic if you see her on Tinder. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my word. Uh, you be swipe, you definitely swipe right on Connie, bro. Yo, That's bro. Sure. <laughs> Screen grab, swipe right, mm. super like. <laughs> she's funny, really- bro. Like the, I remember she was, no, she's, full, she's gorgeous. She was yeah. in the news. For because she created her own lotion, her own skincare. Range. I remember that Skin the one that looked like product. Nivea, and she got sued. Didn't we? Didn't we do a Sunday best thing on we that? Did, we yeah, did, we huh? did, yeah. And <laughs> did I bought that lotion? It's nice. It it does the things. Her lotion. Yeah, I bought it. Yeah. For for women. No, there's a there's a male version. There's a, <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah. But what, what, shouldn't it have been called Shona Ferguson then? Shona, <laughs> hey, bro, it's business part. All I know, it kept me moisturized. It did the job. Mm. Yeah, yeah. But before we go, um, I wonder what Sir Alex, how Sir Alex feels about this. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, uh, yo. <laughs> I didn't see that coming. Nice, nice. 